Adam, this video surfaced today about 2.30 yeah. Eastern time. We know that the Chiefs excused Kareem Hunt for the day. What is next for the Chiefs and for the NFL? Somebody has to take action here, Sage, and somebody has to take action quickly because there's no way that a video like this can surface from an incident in February and there not be immediate action taken, not with the stance that the league has adopted on domestic violence and the way it has tried to treat it over the years. And I would expect at some point here, maybe as early as tonight, that we will get some sort of ruling. I don't know whether the league or the Chiefs decide to put him on the commissioner exempt list or suspend him under the personal conduct policy or sideline him for the rest of the season, but the league is not going to go too lightly. It's done that before, and it has learned its lesson. And so there's a real chance here that we're going to get a decision from somebody, whether it's the Kansas City Chiefs, who didn't do enough in the past, or the NFL, who didn't do enough in the past. But when there's a video like this, either they saw the video and decided not to address it, or they didn't investigate it enough to get the video that TMZ released this afternoon at 2.30. There's no easy way around this at this particular point in time. And so when the video surfaces today, the league or the Chiefs, one or the other, has to take a stance that is going to be strong, that's going to make up for all the time that we didn't see this video, and is going to reflect the stance that the league has tried to adopt in all the years that the domestic violence issues have come into the NFL and changed the way that society looks at these issues. Again, the statement from Chiefs owner Clark Hunt, that was in August. We don't know if we saw the video, but we know he knew that the incident had taken place. You mentioned the past, Adam. It's been four years since the video surfaced of former Ravens running back Ray Rice hitting his then fiance, now wife. Thanks to the video really becoming public, that incident completely changed the landscape of how domestic violence is viewed, not just in sports. How do you think the handling of that case, Adam, especially because the Ravens, the NFL, were criticized for not moving quickly enough? How could that affect this? Well, there was a team today that texted me that said this is Ray Rice all over again when a video surfaces, when law enforcement does nothing. We talked about the NFL here, but again, how did police see this video and not charge anybody in this particular case? That is baffling that the Cleveland Police Department, upon interviewing all the witnesses, upon seeing the actual video, could say we've seen enough here and not move on. And that was a conversation that occurred during Ray Rice, why the police department didn't do something, and it's going to occur now. There are going to be lots of questions asked of a lot of people, the police department, the NFL, the Kansas City Chiefs. And that's why, ultimately, I believe that there will be immediate action taken. It will not be soft. It will not be lenient. Mm -hmm. There will be no question and no margin of error here, because when there is video, Sage, as we learn from the Ray Rice case, Everything gets changed.